Hello, Aaron and Jim Bob. Uh, Summers I came in today for console farm sim. Congrats to Steve. Nice one. Ooh, yeah, big, big ups to him. Uh, today, we're going to be flying Etihad A320. I now have a slightly modified A320 because I found a mod that did some stuff and I quite like the idea of it. Um, we're flying from, uh, we're in Sana in Oman. No, Muscat in Oman. I apologize. And, uh... I suppose I should really set the plane up. And this plane inexplicably is super loud, so just bear with me while I change the volume mixer. There we go. And, uh... We'll get moving as soon as we are set up here. The logo. That's all fine. That's all fine. Okay, that's the overhead. More or less ready. T cast fault because we're on the ground. Um, ah, I need to change charts later this week. Um, <clears throat> hey, Matt, I am doing good. How are you? We are going from rooms to Oma. Don't have any flood plan, that's fine. We are Etihad at 381. Cost index will use 25. And our cruising altitude is 320. Iris and it. Oh, yes, I gotta do this. And longitude. And align on ref, please. Confirm align. Just grab some winds. It's fine. Uh, I need to get set up on loading here. Hey, Frederick. I'm Kirk. And a Ukrainian dude. Hello. Uh, so our passengers... Call the fuel truck. Um, left front is actually a gate. And, uh, we're good there. Passengers is 167 today. Uh, 167. Passengers. Our fuel required is between 5.8 and 7.1, so we'll load up, uh, 6,000. 6,200. And here's where it gets annoying because I have my zero fuel weight of 61.3. Zero fuel weight is 57.8. Uh, that means I need to get my calculator. So it's 61.3 minus 57.8. Three and a half tons. So let's uh, get some baggage loaders called up here. And we'll go uh, 3500 exactly. Here we go. Whoops. Hit the wrong button there, sorry. And our performance data should now be 60.3, no, no, we're still a ton short, so I should make that 4,500. Uh, performance data 0 for 61.3, that is fine. 
Um, so now we can go uh, 61.3 and the CG is 23.5. Our block fuel is uh, five point seven. I actually put in more than block. I put in five point, actually five point eight is block. Very complicated. Um, only at first. Right, flight plan. Uh, so we are going to... Iveto... From Iveto via the airway... Quebec 978... Uh, to Itrax. But right now, we are going to um, Abu Dhabi, Oscar Mike Alpha Alpha, uh, from uh, Muscat, Oscar Oscar, Mike Sierra, uh, in an Etihad A320. Uh, Papa 899 to Rovos. And from Robos, it's the arrival. Okay. Just clear that discontinuity for now. Hello, Jake. Departure will be zero eight left. Uh, via the uh, uh, veto to Papa. Which... Navigraph charts come to my aid. This is giving me an impossible... Yeah, it's bringing me off the wrong runway. I'll take the Aveto to Sierra, which should bring me in the right direction. Yeah, that's what the problem was. It just had the wrong uh, departure built in. Uh, insert. I just want to check for discontinuities. That's fine. I'll also put in the arrival for now. Uh, we'll be going to 3 1 left. And we'll take. Uh, the Ornav Zulu. Uh, star is the Rovo 5 Delta. And I'll plant it in here. Rovo 5 Delta. Oops. Delta to Ornav Zulu, three one left. Uh, by uh, Pagum will do. Yeah, let's take the Pagum there. I, mean, I could go direct final, or we'll go Pagum. Add to root. And we'll choose Pagum there. Insert. We're gonna have a discontinuity here somewhere. There it is. We'll get rid of that. We're not allowed for some reason. Oh, because it's manual flight. Get rid of that. And that. Whoops. And we'll insert that. Uh, Emirates A320 today, yes. Whoops. It is uh, quite beautiful. It's the Flight Factor A320. Uh, refueling... Have I set... 
Chrome settings. No, RS align is set correctly, okay. Remove that. Remove that. Remove those. And we will get the APU running, master switch on, and start. You can't find documentation for learning or like a tutorial on how to fly. Um, honestly, watch videos. Watch watch YouTubers. Uh, we'll just set two thousand here as a squawk. Immediately go ta -ra. Thank you to whoever just did something there, because I don't have stream levels open. Because I am a fool. Thank you to... Mercy Buku. Mercy Buku, Mercy Buku. Uh... Okay, we got that going. We'll get the EPU bleed on now. Um, see personal smoking, park bleed, bearing break, review bleed, perfect. Uh, oh yes, I'm going to need to get my A320 calculator up. Hang on. Uh, A320 performance calculator, please. Yes, I agree to cookies. Uh, we're in 320 with CFMs. Our units are metric. We are in booms. Uh, oh. Eight tires, one on four. Um, so this is something... I can't see chat right now, so you'll just have to deal with it. Uh, Takeoff white is gonna be over here. Takeoff weight is predicted to be 60... 66.9 uh, let's say. 66.9 with a Mac which should be over here somewhere. Mac, 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 Mac. Mac is not there. That's fine. Um, we're going to six right, and we should be able to calculate. Okay, so I now have takeoff speeds and whatnot. I can bring OBS back up. So whoa, we're going to be. Uh, Flaps 1 and up 1.2. Uh, flex temp is 67. V1. It seems it reckons our VR and v, V2 are. No, nowhere near. Uh, 159. 159. And one six three. And yes, that is all good. Why pilots don't? Why do pilots only use iPads instead of Androids? Because um, <laughs> and I'm not kidding you. Because you can get a certain app on um, iPad that you can't get on Android. It's called ForeFlight. Uh, I'll need to get my pushback planned. Uh, we'll just go straight back here. All right, Captain, got the directions. Let me know through the menu when you're ready. Just gonna verify one zero one four on my. Uh, Conditions here, yeah, perfect. Um, a lot, a lot of the reason pilots do things is because they have some useful tool. Okay, GPU is off. Okay, we can get our push back on the go. Is Microsoft flights in out? Captain, no, not yet.
Let's get the uh, jetway pulled back. There's our pushback arriving nicely. Set that to start. Um, Ecom door page, just real quick. Okay, thank you. Hey Steve, I heard you got your map on the console. Congrats, dude. Um, oh yeah, and our altitude, our, st our um, stop climb. All right, looks like the door is closed, and we're ready to connect. Swiss Double One doesn't really take things um, all that seriously. Uh, stop climb five thousand or above. We'll go thirteen thousand. Okay. And we'll get the beacon on. I keep forgetting the names of people's Welcome maps, board, so if you're a farm sim map maker and I say, hey, I heard uh, your map. It's not me being rude, it's you me having forgotten back. the name of the map Bottom again. Up. Okay. Um, what's our taxi route going to look like? Stuff that I should have looked at. Uh, I'll pin this, just for reference. Uh, get the airport chart up. Actually, I can tell you, our taxi is going to be super short, so we won't do single-engine taxi because we are right here. So we're going to be going out to your uh, via Victor, Victor 7, um, and then along Victor to Yankee... Br uh, we'll go full length, Yankee 8. So, start engine 2. Hey, kid. By the way, there was a very important reason that I had to decide whether or not we were going to single-engine taxi. Um, in an Airbus, if you single engine taxi, you must start engine one. Engine one has all of the electrics attached. Engine two is just power. But en engine one is, uh, super, super important. Do I have any... No, I don't have any. I need to set some views up with this. There's engine two coming up. It's a good start. Hello, Lucas. Let's get engine one going now. And we'll be told to throw the parking brake in a second. Let me see. There it is. Just about done here. Go ahead and set your parking brake. And we're disconnecting the tow. Give me just a moment. Alright, that's two good starts. Let's go flaps one. We can arm that. You like my A320? It's a good... Like, whoops. It's a good bit of payware. It's expensive, so I'd hope it's good. Um, that said, the scenery that I use is all free. Every single bit of scenery that I use is 100% free to and do whatever you want with. Stick one pin on the right, take it easy, and have a safe flight. Okay. So, single pin on the... Oh, he's going to block the taxiway. I'm going to have to wait for him to drive off. It's definitely not Etihad. It definitely is Etihad. Did I say Emirates at one point for the AC20? There we go. We can get the taxi light on. Our flaps are good. We'll just do flight control checks. I said it was Emirates. Oh my god. 
left, fall right, neutral, fall down, neutral, and the rudder is good. And has he driven off yet? Yes, he has. Thank goodness. Do I remember you? No, but I've got a ter terrible memory. I can barely remember what I had for breakfast this morning. So please don't get upset if I don't remember somebody. <laughs> or something. What did I have for breakfast this morning? I can't remember. Legitimately can't remember. Brake check. Is good. I've actually bound up my joystick to act as a tiller, so I'm quite happy with it. Um, yeah, this is our turn off to get to the runway, on to Victor. And I like you and can cook. No, I can cook! I can totally cook. I just choose not to, there's a difference. You're terrible at cooking? No, I can cook. I generally choose not to because it's it, it's easier. In Germany it's night at the moment. Um, it's evening here, it's not quite dark yet. Uh, and by the way, I am flying it in fake time, I'm not using real time for uh, these flights because they're too dark and nobody wants to see just two hours of black. You almost set the house on fire before? I set a frying pan on fire while cooking once. It didn't put me off. Okay, these sounds are quite beastly, suddenly. Uh, auto brake max. Takeoff config checked. And the cabin is ready. Okay, but it's not ready. Why is the cabin not ready? Oh, cabin ready. Cabin is ready. up the whole short line then get uh, everything ready for the actual takeoff here okay parking brake on for now that that Uh, these and these. Okay. Let us enter the runway and pretend we've got takeoff clearance immediately. APU should be off, actually. Approaching two, six, right. All right. Two six right. On runway. Two six right. Take off config normal. Cam memo no blue. Flex as runway. 
take off no blue. The chrono, well we'll start the chrono. Why are we veering off to the Whoa? Okay, that's a quite strong crosswind actually. V1 rotate. Gonna go direct to Mike's here eight zero one. That's Mike's here eight one zero. In fact, but I want to go direct to. And thrust climb. Positive rate very much established already. Gear up. And we'll get the autopilot on. Speed star and three two zero set. That is one that was one hell of a crosswind to take off in. Check their luggage for coronavirus. <laughs> Can we not do coronavirus jokes? So this should be a relatively quick coastal hop. We're just going up the coast a bit of uh, the Arabian Peninsula. Let's go flap zero. We can disable spoilers and get the r landing lights retracted. And that off. Keep passengers locked up for a time being. And it is going to be very, very brown again today, unfortunately. Um, downside of the Arabian Peninsula is there are quite a lot of deserts. That's that's just the way it do be. Set open climb. Set standard. So we will be climbing all the way up to thirty two thousand feet now. And a lovely, relatively straight line from normally. You can actually see the crosswind affecting uh, our direction here. Nilo simulator game. Beautiful Eddie had A320. In fact, uh, headphone warning because I'm about to do something loud. That wasn't as loud as I thought it would be. Just climbs beautifully. Uh, Seatbelts can go off. Well, can go auto now. Through 10,000, we'll set that off. This is Flight Factory, yes. Where did you buy? I'm not going to Dubai actually on the tour at all. Um, I'm heading up capital, so Abu Dhabi is actually our next stop, not Dubai. It's our only stop in the UAE. Um, I could hit up Dubai, but I really have. I've got like 200 more um, legs to go in this, so it's probably not a good idea to hit up Dubai. <laughs> Do a barrel. This cannot do a barrel roll. I've tried. I, I kid you not. I tried. Dubai's gonna be down. No, Dubai's actually gonna be north of our destination. 
Um, Dubai is slightly north of where we're going. We're heading to Abu Dhabi. Dubai is uh, northeast a bit. Which means, unfortunately, we don't get to see the bizarre reclaimed land sculptures that Dubai does. Two of your family are BA cabin crew that do long haul flights. So in the um, triples and seven eights and the A350, they keep breaking. Um, <laughs> and maybe even the seven four. I will. I will never not make fun of BA for consistently breaking their uh, beautiful new A350. Ew, long haul. Says the person who keeps flying to the Canary Islands. That's like a five-hour flight. <laughs> Short hops. Short hops is where it's at, yo. Says the guy who's got a ten-hour leg potentially planned. Champions League tonight. I do not care about football one iota. I care about motor racing and... Um, Oh, well, I will care about motor racing when the Enduros start up properly. It's medium haul, Jake. Not short haul. What's the longest flight I've flown in real life? Um, two and a half hours. In Sim, ten. Looking forward to flights in. Trying to sign up for the beta. I have the alpha of Microsoft Flight Sim. And... Uh, it's a game changer. I w without breaking NDA, it's a game changer. Uh, where am I from? I am from Ireland. You done fifteen? I mean, I technically did about seventeen hours, but it, it, it was mainly because I fell asleep and um, missed the airport. Uh, ich kann ein bisschen Deutsch sprechen, aber ich bin uh, nicht so gut. Oder es, es ist nicht so gut. <laughs> thank you very much for subscribing, Game... Oh my god, I've forgotten that gift. Game Master, thank you very much for subscribing. I'm not Brexit, no. Uh, let's not do politics, because that's nasty, horrible times. And I'm very opinionated, and that's never a good idea. <laughs> I just realized I said no smoking to auto, not actually, because I'm vaping, this is now a smoking flight, screw it. You should just name To be best. I like Aer Lingus. I make fun of them all the time and call them Air Fungus, but I do like them. Uh, am I allowed to say if you need to respect PC or not? Um, no, because nobody actually knows. I don't think Microsoft even know what kind of specs you'll need for flight sim. Um, there's a reason they haven't put out the specs, it's because they're kind of experimenting with the testers to see what is the lowest spec they can get away with. Um, as it stands, um, the Alpha, as far as I'm aware, is open to only like really high spec machines in terms of RAM. But that's mainly to ensure stability. Ukraine all politics is about politics. Yeah. Let's not do politics. Hope they don't have the below 20 FPS thing. Um, well, they're running... Here's something that I can talk about without being in breach of NDA. Flight Sim, as they've publicly said, are using old FP or FSX code. Um as a basis, as well as some of the old Flight Sim World code. Um, because they're using old F FSX code, they don't have... They'll, they'll be very similar um, in terms of like performance profiles to um, P3D currently. So it should be okay below 20 FPS. But I have no first-hand experience of that.
bear in mind I've got quite a good PC, so I'm not, I'm not going to be able to test low FPS things. Unfortunately. But I would, I would imagine they won't scale simulation rates. You open your PC to be fine -ish. It should be. Where is our top of descent? Before local. But after a veto. Oh, it looks like our top of descent is going to be... At top of climb? What? Also, I forgot to turn on... Weather. Not that it's needed. Longest real life flight you've done is 15, 15 hours. Yeah, I've, I've not done long hauls. I've never left Europe, to be honest. A uh, bit hit and miss about getting flights in. Watch a video last night and oh my god. <laughs> yeah, SG, watch through the feature discoveries for Flight Sim. Um, it goes into quite a lot of detail about some stuff. But oh my god. Like... Every week, every week they bring in a, a new one. Myself and Landy talk about it in uh, Teamspeak. And we're just like, can they please, st can they please stop flexing with how good the game is going to be and how detailed they've gone with stuff? Because every single time <laughs> they d they do one, it's just like, okay, sold again for the what number were they on? Sixth, the sixth, actually the eighth or ninth time. How old am I? Twenty-eight. Oxenzanzig, yeah, Gerald. Yeah, we're not going to get a top of climb here. We're going to go up to... I'm going to bring our cruising altitude down to 280. So we actually have a bit of cruise in. Just so... Yeah, I'm hoping the starting price is reasonable. Um, For flight sim. That's the re... They haven't reached the date. No, I... I only know what's public. In terms of, like dates and specs and stuff and there's nothing public I would imagine um, that their plan is basically to get it out uh, before it releases on console I would imagine the console it will release on is the Series X and I would imagine they're trying to aim for it to be a launch title so I'd imagine sometime you know mid to uh, yeah sometime in the middle of the year you have to start saying for high-end graphics card just for flight sim. I mean, it'll future-proof your computer, if nothing else, Brody. Um, but I think it's fair to say that more than half of people who are interested in flight sims are kind of stopping all purchases for their current sims and preparing for the big move. Um, because I'm... Maybe gonna get two more planes for X plane if they're if they come out before flight sim. Um, and even if they don't, I guess um, it really depends on like what comes out as payware for flight sim uh, initially. Because if Majestic convert their uh, Q400 over, I'm gonna be very happy. The Majestic Q400 is really good. Um, the I know PNDG are converting their 7.3 in. You've moved to PC just for flight sims? I mean, it is definitely a good way to go. Um, like, sure, the Series X is going to have... I'm imagining it's going to be the Series X. That's the big thing. It's going to have... Um, <laughs> going to have the, uh, the Microsoft flight sim, but I don't know how similar it will be to the PC version. Maybe quite. Like, we don't even know what peripherals the Series X is actually launching with. Jake, you gotta love props. Uh, Dowler, there'll be a transition period. But the joy of it is, is a plane runs like a plane. If... we'll say a modder or a payware author or pay with a dev or something, makes a plane, like a 320, I, and, you know, I have learned that plane previously, I know how to fly that plane. So I can still help people in other sims. 
Negative, you'll stick to your around 800 hours on the NG. <laughs> So the PC version will be able to run higher graphics. I read on PC Gamer, I don't know if it was yesterday, but the other day, that um, the Series X will, on paper, not in reality, on paper only, have roughly similar performance to um, a 2080 Super. So it's not going to be a weak console. It's it's not going to be pathetic and weak like um, the Xbox One or the PS4. It's going to be beefy, but it's only just kind of catching up to top end PCs. So top end PCs are going to pull away again very quickly. Is the issue? <laughs> um, we are coming up to top of descent now in just under twenty miles. So let's have a look at our descent path here. There's a reason that I set everything up in advance. Our arrival is via the Rovo 5 Delta. Uh, 10,000 over Rovos. So let's bring this down to 10,000. And it should, I th Does the A320 do auto descent? I can't remember. Um, can I get landing calculator, please? No. Landing speed and top descents. Oh, that's cool. Just realized I was supposed to have the packs off for the takeoff because I forgot to set packs on. Oops. The new Xbox is going to be a beast. How long uh, will, it, will it take to the next airport? Um, we're landing 11.27 UTC. It's currently 10.57, so about 30 minutes. 3.0 minutes. A bit less. While we're coming in here, I'm actually going to plan out the next flight. Uh, going from there to there, I believe. Yes. Um, our current flight call sign is what? Three eight one. So we'll go. Oh, oops. Uh, three, eight, and two. <laughs> this is a flight that doesn't exist in real time life. Hello, Alex. So I'm just getting sim brief to generate a flight plan for the next leg. You've just been detonailed for the fifth time. Um. Is this like your nuked comment from the other day? Should visit Portugal. You've moved to Vat Portugal. Why have you moved to Vat Portugal? <laughs> What's wrong with Vat UK? <laughs> For your birthday, you're going to triple the screen setup. I would love to, but I have no place for a third screen. I'm quite happy with one screen over there, one screen there, and no screen there. Or if I need a third screen, phone, or I've got a crappy laptop sat beside me as well that I can set up over over in this area somewhere. Training's better, waiting time shorter. I mean, that's a reason, I guess. Uh, set descent. Set descent. Descent. Don't open descend, just descend. Hey Shane! Oh, pretty good here. How about you, dude? You've been to the podiatrist. Okay. 
Just remember that your autocorrect really doesn't like the word nuked. Okay, something's angered my PC. <laughs> Everything is angry. Stub your toe and people keep standing on it. Well, maybe wear shoes. With steel toe caps. That tends to help. Oh boy, this plane is not happy. Enter destination data, yes. Uh, performance. Next phase. And let's have a look. Uh, yo, uh, QNH one zero one six. Temperature two one. Winds three one zero one three. Yes, but you're not allowed. Fair enough. Um, I'll just grab that. And this is the next chart I'll need. Grab that. And uh, Elnav Vnav will use. Uh, we're at Charlie three two seven. Lightened config three. And flat three. Because we should have, I would imagine, quite a lot of uh, running three one left. Oh, yeah, we got four kilometers of runway. We can totally land flap three. <laughs> Could have had a worse day. Good to come home from work and watch me and have a laugh. See, the problem, Shane, is you're coming into the one stream of the week where I'm super serious about things. Because flight sim is my jam and planes are my jam. Uh, we'll set auto brake uh, low because we're not we're not going to need much brakes. Uh, we're seeing as we're descending. Seatbelt signs can go back on. That ahead of us is Al Ain. KSP dude. I should play KSP. Like when KSP two comes out, I will try. I will probably stream that a bit. There's a few games that I want to start. I might start branching out into just more random streams. If KSP2 comes out, KSP2 is coming out. Next door now, you're in well, falling out the back because you get out some moss. It was raining, you went down to your knees. Well, don't run on mossy wet ground in the rain. The problem solved. Next, please. <laughs> Next, next question, please. What's my FPS currently? Twenty. Oh. <laughs> Didn't say you were trying to get the garage open to bring in firewood. Well, maybe, just maybe, bring. Uh, oh, I don't know. Maybe an umbrella next time. And do the walking thing. Hey, when your two favorite streamers go live at the same time, how am I doing? I'm doing good. Delvacity, watch who you want. I don't care if you're not watching me. This is actually the busiest flight sim stream I think I've had in. I, I know I've had in months. Possibly ever. So I'm quite happy to uh, have a decent number of you guys in here because we're in we're going to airports people actually have heard about ever. <laughs> Amazing what happens when I fly in actual places people fly to as opposed to Nigeria or Benin. <laughs>
It's a fun thing about uh, flight sims. You can fly where you want, but most people tend to keep it to like the same 20, 30 countries. Um, which I get why. Fly back in time to the USSR. I do want to get myself a Soviet plane at some point, Shane. That is, the, the, you have no idea the temptation that is there to get myself um, a Soviet plane. Can I make an autopilot tutorial? Um, Lucas, I'm gonna be honest, you're better off watching, like, real world pilots. I don't know of any, let me think, uh, Black Box 711 is a real world A320 pilot. Um, so if you want to learn the A320, he's the guy to watch. And then somebody like, um, Flight Deck to Sim uh, is a 737 pilot in real life, so he's the guy to watch for 737 tutorials. I'm I'm not a real life pilot. Fly a uh, Flyboy uh, as well over on Twitch, as well as um, Black Box. Johnny doesn't tend to be as tutorialistic though as Black Box does. If you want to if you want to learn how to uh, not fly. And annoy the snot out of Jake2906 there, um, then totally watch Kenko all the time. <laughs> because Jake. Jake loves Kenko! <laughs> Can't get enough of that Kenko coffee! <laughs> oh dear. He's now angry at me, and I know it. I don't even have to look. <laughs> Here we go. Oh dear. Uh, unfortunately, Delvasity, my Dave decisions don't tend to happen in flight sim streams because this tends to be when I'm I'm actually vaguely serious. Um, are we at ten thousand yet? Not yet. Um. So, we're coming up to Rovos now. Yeah, we're 20 miles from Rovos. Uh, go down to Tonki. Oh no, Tonki isn't even on a route, so Larup is 9 or above. What's our, our final altitude here for? Mandatory 3000 at Lubick. So, let's bring this down to 3000. Where am I heading? Abu Dhabi. And we'll set uh, 1016 in the down nicely here. I'm not happy about this wonky turn between Loxix and Lubick. I'm kind of tempted to um, knock peg him. Yeah, we'll do that. I'm going to knock peg him off the flight plan entirely. Clear peg him. Bring... No, 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 no. And then clear the disco. Insert. Yeah, that's... I'm much happier with that. And we'll now go open descent. If there aren't so few and far between, then they'd be no, lo no longer be unpredictable. This is true. I would imagine in real life you'd actually get that as a, a direct between uh, LARP and Loxix. Sorry, Loxix and Lubick. If it's not too busy, just go Loxix direct Lubick. Or even Rovo strike Lubick, which we could do. But uh, we'll follow. We'll follow the uh, most of the arrival. <laughs> the thing from my flight sim experience, I could fly a real plane if I really had to. I would love, and this is something that is kind of a, a goal of mine in the next five or so years. I would love to fly a small aircraft. 
like a Cessna 172 or something. I'd love to get a couple of, of flying lessons and uh, fly for real. Um, but from my experience in flight sims, I reckon I, I probably actually could. Because 90% of the problem with learning to fly an aircraft is actually learning procedures and learning what to do in what situations. Um, and flight sims are really nice. A lot, a lot of um, student pilots use flight sims to learn. But uh, it's, it's all about learning procedures and what to do in, in certain situations. We're actually up below the descent profile. That little green dot, by the way, is our descent profile. Um, Placing double only 200 lesson. Think you go. You think you could with all the same experience. Uh, flights. Uh, FSX is not good flights and experience. Unfortunately, um, the flight model in FSX. Lessons assessing is new. You unfortunately assessing. I know where I could get lessons till that stage. Just kind of getting the money together and the time to do it, it would be the issue for me. Um. Because I've priced some up, uh, and I, it's something that I will probably do in the next two, three years, is go for a flying lesson. Um, probably during the summer, when it's less likely to be, you know, IFR conditions in Ireland. <laughs> um, FSX has a very simplified flight model, where Everything is done on basically one. Yes, thank you that for that computer. Everything's done on like one. Um, one single control, effectively one single control. Um, explain models aerodynamics properly, but the unfortunate side of that is it tends to be very um, hungry in terms of memory. Uh, P3D has a similar model to explain as far as I'm aware because it uses very heavily modified FSX um, but if you flew FSX and what the hell is my what the hell am I getting stuck oh I'm getting stuck on that if you flew FSX and you flew the A2A, A2A aircraft you've got a much better chance of being able to fly in real life um, because they're a very heavily modified flight model. Okay. We're on profile, our flap speed, what is our main plane? Um... Main plane is 215, we're currently 240, that's fine. So that little green dot there is our flap one indicator, effectively. And ah, we're <laughs> I I wonder maybe where the uh, terrain around the airport actually starts. Hmm. Yeah, this airport came with an ortho chunk, so. Uh, That's that's indeed very nice. I think it was this one. One of the airports came with a chunk of ortho. Actually, I think a couple of them did. Um, let's see, you can see there's some sort of complex down there. Okay, we're coming up to turn. We're coming. Actually, we're coming up to flaps one. Okay, we'll go flap one here. Speed checks. Flaps one. It's actually just the slats that gives us a bit more uh, lift and also a bit more drag. Actually, we'll retract that. If both pilots fast out for whatever reason, I think flight simmers would be the most used. 
Um, to an extent, but flight simmers do have a bad habit of trying to go for that buttery landing instead of the landing zone. Um, hello Alfie. How's it going today, dude? Okay, there's... <laughs> quite a... a sharp turn going on here, but okay. In fact, I'm going to take over speed here, and set 2.15, and now we will definitely go flap on. I'm doing good, Alfie. Thank you very much for asking. Okay. If I get it back to manage speed, is it going to stay 2.15? No, it's not. It's going to try and get up to 2.30 again. I'm gonna keep flap. I'm gonna keep slap uh, slap one out though, because we should be deselling him out. Was it lock six that was mandatory three thousand? Oh, it's Lubick mandatory three thousand. Good here. Oh, it's always good to hear the people are good. They both passed out. You knock everything. When else a plane? Because I'm not the only one la landing. I'm jumping all. Cannon would only trust myself in that situation. Well, ideally, if a pilot passes out, you do get somebody who's got a pilot's license. If both pilots are inexplicably incapacitated, and even in that situation, they tend to. Um, ATC tends to talk down whoever ends up flying the plane. It's usually somebody with a pilot's license or one of the cabin crew. Could always talk to Lady Flower. Okay, we're holding a good speed here. Airport is. Oh, well, those are some trees. I was slightly concerned there's a hole in the ortho. Uh, in this chunk for some reason. Airport should be over there somewhere. But it should be almost directly off our left wing. Let's see. Yep. Turning on finals. Okay, now for sure we need to manage, so we're gonna fly uh, to 180. Can you just fly this manual? I mean, you could at lower altitudes, I could totally fly this manually if I wanted to, but, um. Look. Look star approach. Whoops. Step two. Did you ever play RuneScape? Yes. Many, many years ago. Okay. So we're on approach mode. But we don't have a glide slope. Final approach, there we go. We're going to speed down to 160. And our final speed is 146. In fact, I could probably leave it in 160 to 5. You're down. Hey, Gaming Jared Guy. I'm doing pretty good today. Toxic plays, hello. Okay, runway is in sight.
So at 5 DME, I'm gonna lower speed to 146. Am I using joystick or keyboard? Uh, joystick. So our V app is 146 knots. And we'll set that at. Uh, set it at 5 DME, in fact. Okay, signs on. Cabin. Checked. Spoilers. Armed. Config 3 inbound. Flaps 3. You can have a landing, no blue. Flight sims are quite popular at the moment, is that true? Um, I mean, I'm a flight sim, so I don't care if it's popular or not. There's a new flight sim coming from Microsoft, if, uh, so that's kind of got a bit of hype together for flight sims in general. Let's, uh... Let's hand fly the rest of the approach. Have I been drinking my milk? Um... Oh! Thank you for the reminder! I have a cup of tea! <laughs> One thousand. Coming down right on the ILS here. And you're just gonna have to trust me that I am in fact hand flying this. Approaching. Three, one, left. Continue. Two hundred. One hundred. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Retard. Five. Ooh. Did not get, uh... screen yeah I didn't I didn't get the uh, the flare going early enough <laughs> 50 40 30 20 retard five <laughs> that was a that was a difficult one yeah okay reverse normal I forgot to turn on the landing lights, by the way. More flare, less power. Yeah, I should have actually idled at about 30, I think. I was coming in pretty hot. So I'm just gonna grab a random stand uh, over in the terminal and... Uh, we will get set up to uh, go again. Assuming the plane's not damaged. No, it looks fine. That's that's perfect. Plane's fine. It's fine. We're all fine. Please call your chiropractors. Um. <laughs> Let's 
get the uh, flaps retracted and the APU going. Are these heavy gates? No, I'm going to take uh, this one on the left. Which doesn't seem to be lined up with the auto dock. Hang on, what's going on here? Something's gone weird. Wait? What? I'm just going to stop here. <laughs> Landon London, Storm Kira, do go around before you hit the ground, Briard's sideways and hard, yeah. Um, and the engines can come off. The APU was apparently not fully up yet. Well, that's fine. Two conflicting series? Um, possibly, but the sceneries told me that they were fine together. That floaty, however, tells me they weren't. Yeah, something's gone a bit wrong with the scenery here, unfortunately. What the hell is that floating up there? Downsides of freeware. And we'll get the seatbelt signs going off. Right. Next flight. Uh, reverse complete. Complete. That's not going to be very nice for my average landing rate. Bookings. Briefing. Bring that out. Set active. Fly now. So, our next flight, we're going to keep pretty much all the info the same. We're going to be Etihad 382. Going from uh, there to there. And now I need to set up the services. We need a fuel truck, we'll need. Uh, air stairs, we'll need some cargo. Alright. Hello, Simulate, by the way. Should have flown from Saudi to uh, Florida to Saudi. Initialize weights. Yes, okay, thank you. Um, in it. We're going from uh, Abu Dhabi to Doha. And we are uh, Etihad 382 because flight doesn't exist in real life. Cost index will be 25 again. Flight level 260 is our cruise. And I'll just load the plane up real quick. Um, packs this time are 171. Excuse me, can I change the passengers? Full. Come on. And 172. 
fuel required is 5.7. So I said 6.2 again. 6.4 is the max, theoretical. And our takeoff, our zero fuel weight is 61.7. Zero fuel weight is 61.7. Perfect. <laughs> um, IRS is fine. Flight plan. This being a turnaround, I can do things a lot faster. Uh, Mercury. Yep, we need airways. Papa 899 to Kupsa. Uh, and that's Quebec 215 to Afnan. And we are on arrival. Perfect. Insert. Departure is via 3 1 left. And the Mercury 2 Kilo. Insert. I'm just going to send the arrival because it's going to be a fairly quick flight to 3 4 right. Uh, we'll take the ILS via the Afnan 1 Echo. Insert. And just check for discontinuities. Perfect. Back to my performance calculator so I can do my performance. Uh, reset. From Abu Dhabi, please. There you go. Flaps one, packs on. Always dry. Uh, it's 67.3, isn't it? Yes, I see. Uh, six, oops. Six, seven, three hundred. Say four hundred, that's fine. And we're going to have three one left. Full. Calculate. So. <laughs> Flex sixty one. Flaps one. Uh, it's going to be up one point two again, isn't it? I actually forgot to set the uh, trim last time. That's 160, 160, 164. Yep, that's all fine. That's not OBS. Airports are most lethal for spread, apparently. What? Um, and we can just disconnect all the services. Because it basically in, uh, immediately fills everything up the way that I want it. And call... Better push back. To push me... Just push me in this vague direction, it'll be fine. <laughs> Alright, Captain, got the directions. Let me know through the menu when you're ready. Go. Great news, Captain, your toe's coming. It's very coronavirus. That makes sense. Oh, it's got, um, that's cool. It's got IRS, it's got actual, um, IRS calibration, um, stuff on the, uh, the stand there, latitude 24, 25.9, longitude 104, east 104, uh, 38.4, I want to say. Uh, I have to set the altimeter, but it's, it's up here, it's, this is the altimeter. Um... Load up this. All right. Looks like like here. doors and hatches are closed, and we're ready to connect. This is actually the correct airport. Brilliant. So we'll go up to one one thousand. Um. And.
and our taxi routing is going to be... Uh, we're at Terminal 3. Fantastic. Uh, we're going off 3-1 left, isn't it? Three, yeah, 3 one left, so... Back up, down... Across Echo. Across Foxtrot, onto Echo, and then Echo 1-5. Go and kill the parking brake when you're ready to go. Here comes the pushback. Light him up. Initialize weights? The... Oh, whoops. Huh. Zero fuel eight six one point seven. Uh CG. <laughs> Oops. Twenty two point eight. And our block fuel I forgot to do this and I fiesta to pay. Block fuel is five point eight. Not 58, 5.8. If I was using 58 tons, I'd be very confused. Um, is the plane now happy that I have initialized the weights? I would hope so, because I'm starting engine 2. Start of fault, I forgot to turn on the APU bleed. Maybe you bleed on. Now start engine two. Engine two is maybe starting. Definitely starting. Uh, I just want to quickly check Active Sky. 106, perfect. Yep, that's fine. Uh, we're probably going to use Landing Flat 3 in Doha as well, but I'll just turn that off for now. Yeah, engine 2, good start. Engine 1 starting now. Just about done here. Go ahead and set your parking brake. That's and up. we're disconnected. There we go. Now I've got my pitch trim set correctly. And flaps one. Disconnect. And no, turn that off because it'll annoy dude and he'll shout at me. But he'll suddenly become a woman. I forgot I could open the window. And we're disconnected. Sickle and pin on the right. Take these and have a safe flight. I may have made a mistake in doing that. because I'm not sure if I can get the window closed again. Come on, go back to where you belong. It won't go back. The window is now open. There, there should be a click point somewhere that I can do the window with, but it's not working. Well, we're gonna see if it'll let me take off with the window open. Why are you not wanting to close?
seats in the way of the kick. Maybe it won't work if I'm in motion. I need to have the parking brake on. Close, please, window. I, I literally can't take off if Gulda. It's it's gonna be a click zone. Um, FF three twenty. How to close window? <laughs> Cockpit window. <laughs> Bear with. Aha! Problem solved! There was a teeny tiny little pin that I had to fix. Live, live on YouTube, Dave Googles how to close a window. <laughs> Have I got BSS for this? Yes. She is a loud one, Mr. Maddox, yes. Also, I'm using that um, Avila Soft whoa, pack that I downloaded, uh, that I sent you last night, that I thought you had this plane. It's... Please ignore the random engine clouds. It's quite pretty. Also, taxi light isn't on. It's slightly prettier now. Not flown to us yet since you've not got a joystick yet. Oh dear. Wait, did you not order the honeycomb? I could have sworn I remember you saying you ordered honeycomb. I'm just gonna waggle the uh, the rudder about. That's a yoke, not a joystick. I mean, you can fly a three twenties with yokes. Uh, fap, cabin checked, auto brake max, take off config test, okay. A hey, traffic check project flyer right about now. Um, also well, quite a way to go on this taxi. That's it, I'm taxiing at 30 knots. We're doing a Ryanair taxi. Screw you. High speed taxiing goodness away. You don't like the clouds at the back of the engine. Yeah, that's... I know, that's I think a common explain bug. Your sim setup's complete, now, now apart from a throttle quadrant. I presume you're waiting for the, uh... Honeycomb throttle to come out. Matt, you missed me. Forget how to close a window. You missed me having to Google how to close windows. Because <laughs> I opened the, uh, the flight deck window and then couldn't remember how the hell to close it. 
Right, ladies and gentlemen, please be seated because we're going to be going very fast very soon. You're going to say, yeah, but then I did it. You don't even own this plane! Alright. Okay, 3 1 left identified. Dragon break on. APU off. All of the illumination. I had the strobe on that entire time. All of the illumination on. And we are ready for. Do, 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 do. Ready to line up. Land on side. No, there's a little. There's a little um, switch that you've got to click in the window itself, like in the in the frame. Have I got a joystick? Me? Yes. Matt? No. Approaching. Three, one, left. Alrighty then. Let's get lined up. On runway. Three, one, left. About as good as we're gonna go. Hey ho! SRS runway man flex take off no blue. Let's go. Hey, flight attendant 2020. It's black on my plane. It makes no sense. Different models. I've got conflicting scenery here, but that's kind of fine. Three, one, rotate. That was a bit of a fast rotation. How's the rate gear up? Just doing nothing when you reach cruise. I mean, in cruise you should be briefing for landing and stuff. There's still plenty to do. Whose Airbus is this? This is Flight Factor's Airbus. Yeah, at cruise you can chat and just chill out. I mean, it's not the end of the world. Just bring this straight up to cruise. And, oh, I left the weather radar. <laughs> Please ignore the fact that I left the weather radar on and gave everybody cancer. Um... So there is Abu Dhabi behind us. There's the Formula One track. Uh, thank you for that. There's um yeah, there's Ferrari World and Formula One track, which is fully modeled, and I'm kind of impressed by that, to be honest. That's uh, Yas Marina, and that is the the hotel that lights up in all sorts of weird colors. Um. There's Dubai, just over there. Anyway, back to Abu Dhabi in our... All constraint. No, no, no. Open climb. Have I been watching testing? No. Should get, I could get hired by Ryder to tell about my experience and we got a job. No, I'd still have to get licensed and rated and that costs... Um, Anywhere between 80 and 100,000 euro. Das, das. Yeah, das. Oh my god. I can't believe that's actually technically legal. Like, I, I can't believe that there wasn't a rule already saying you can't push and pull on the steering wheel 
to alter the suspension of the car. <laughs> then again, nobody ever thought that a Formula One team would decide, let's have a steering wheel that you can push and pull. Ryanair doesn't cost that much, you don't think? Ryanair's about 80 grand. For, um... Because it's, it's the, um... ATPL is the, the issue, SG. Hey, what's that? Uh, the, the, the actual, um... Licensing is the issue. Lotus Grand Effect, back in the day? Yeah, but we're, we're like we're no longer in the days of hey, the <laughs> the rules don't say that we can't do this, so let's do it. We're in the we're now in the age of um, like everything being very specifically set up, and the rules being very strict on what can and can't be done. Credit mark for the initiative. Oh, absolutely. It's banned for 2021 already. <laughs> They've already banned it for next season. There's the Dubai race course. Abu Dhabi race course. Even. Rule okay. Everything outside the rules, not okay. That's the way the Formula 1 has gone, though. Like, I kind of guess, I kind of get why they do it like that, because otherwise anything would go, but it, it kind of sucks that 2021 is basically going to, like they've openly said, hey, if somebody finds a loophole to a rule, we're going to straight up ban it and within like three races. Ladies and gentlemen, you can now walk around. Please don't jump up and down because it'll throw the plane off. <laughs> oh, look at how pretty the water is. It's all shimmery. It's all pretty. Don't think it'll stand for 21. It's not affecting performance. It's the best thing to happen in one ten years. It's already banned, Shane. Straight up, DAS is already banned. Why am I not using the actual announcement feature? Because the actual announcement feature is this. Ladies and gentlemen, as we continue to climb, we would like to remind you that all flights of our airline are non-smoking. For your safety, the lavatories have been equipped with smoke detectors. When seated, we recommend to keep your seat belts fastened, even if the fasten seat belt sign is not illuminated. Are you happy now? <laughs> is this the one where I get the uh Hang on. Yes, sir. Yes. I'm I'm making the flight How can I spread. Help hang you? on. What do you want? There is nothing to say. Please stop bothering me. When we land, I am going to quit my job. Oh my god. Altimeter I am setting. A letter to flight factor. Oops. No, I don't want QFE, I want Q and H. There we go, standard. Sir, there is a passenger in the back. He says you are flying the plane incorrectly. His name is Ramses. Yes, sir. What can I do for you? Sir, there is a passenger in the back. He says you are flying the plane incorrectly. His name is Ramses. Sir, there is a passenger in the back. He is very angry and wants to see you. He says his name is Austin. Sir, there is a passenger no. in the back. He is very angry and wants to see you. He says his name is Austin. In the Flight Factor 757, the main <laughs> the lead flight attendant actually commits suicide if you do that too much. 
There better not be a mechanic on the other end of this. There isn't. Good. Let's do another cabin announcement. Oops. Ladies and gentlemen, as we continue to climb, we would like to remind you that all flights of our airline are non-smoking. For your safety, the lavatories have been equipped with smoke detectors. When seated, we recommend to keep your seat belts fastened, <clears throat> even if the fastened seat belt sign is not illuminated. Are you guys happy now that I've done a couple of announcements using the actual announcements button? Because it's... <laughs> Could you imagine a pilot doing that, just hitting the PA button enough that it beeps once? Just like, um, excuse me, what? Is it supposed to do that? Do 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 do. Do 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 do. It's gonna be a pretty short flight, by the way, because we're, we're we're literally just flying across the bay. Um, if we bring up, bring it up in Navigraph. So I was just setting up my. So we've gone from here to here, and now we're going from here to here, and uh, this flight's gonna take about an hour. Block time to about fifty-eight minutes. Wing views. I don't have them set up, SG. I can go have a look around the cabin, though. I hit something that I probably shouldn't have. What did I hit? I hit reverse thrust. That's decidedly not good. Auto throttle on, please. Okay, very carefully. So here is our Etihad cabin. There's a, there's a wing view for you. Um, I appear to have escaped the plane slightly. That carpet, it's in the Etihad colors though. Look at the tail. The tail is the exact same color as that carpet, and yes, it is horrible. Um, see, look now you can't see it anymore. It's fine. And just to make sure, um, we'll lock the door multiple times. Just continuously lock the door. Walk along the wing. No, that was as far as I could get. <coughs> so what's our ETA? Ten past seven. So about twenty minutes. <laughs> we should actually get to our cruising altitude though. Yeah look we're gonna have a we're gonna have a cruise for twenty miles. 20 miles of cruise. Don't see how I didn't crash there with mid-air reverse thrust. Um, magic? And it's me? Deal with it. The gaming guitar guy asked for a roll in my Discord and somebody gave him the black roll. Yes, yes he did. By the way, join the Discord if you haven't already. Hey, Henry. Um, join the Discord if you haven't already, because we talk about all sorts in there. And I usually end up trolling everybody, somehow, or some way. Why does everybody... Why does everybody go into general voice chat? I don't understand this. <laughs> Like, I always see people join the Discord and then immediately just migrate to, um, general voice chat. I'm not entirely sure why. <laughs> I was watching a crash investigation someone did the same crash and killed 200 people. Yeah, the trick is to realize what you've done very quickly. 
in in reality uh, that probably would have blown up both engines um actually let's let's plan landing now because we're gonna be task saturated on the way down again 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 we're landing uh three four right three four right is five kilometers long well you thought it was chat? No, chat is generally chatto. Yeah, five kilometers long means we're coming down flap three again because we've got more than enough space to stop. Um, at flap three and um, auto brake low, we're probably gonna exit somewhere in the region of Alpha. It, this this um, taxiway here, uh, Alpha nine, and then we'll make our way over to. Emiri ramp? No, that's not the ramp that we want to go to. Oh, the isolation stand to be nice. Um, where do Eddie had do Eddie had park up here in real life? Um, is the next question. I'm also just while I'm while we're in cruisy, boring with the flight. Just gonna get the map updated. Exclamation mark route. If you want to have a look at the map, which I'm currently updating. Uh, I'm gonna mark this in orange because we're kind of going there, but we're not there yet. Um, I'll search Google for Doha International Airport maps. It's actually Hamad International Airport. Do Etihad fly there? Or is this part of... Oh my god, it's completely white on Google Maps. That's very useful. Oh, Google Maps is broken. Um, It's very difficult to see if uh, Eddie had actually do fly here. But we're, um, yeah, I'm gonna stop t towards kind of the middle of the airport. Um, ideally nearish to the Burger Federation, um, which if you go to Google Maps to Hamad International Airport, you will see where the Burger Federation is. That's where I'm kind of planning, so it'll be uh, somewhere in the middle here-ish. <laughs> And we're at cruise. Um, right, let's get. We are coming in via the Afnan One Echo arrival. So Afnan is twelve thousand or below. Let's set twelve thousand here. Do we have a transition level? Uh, transition level, flight level one, f five zero. Good grief! Uh, chart link to Navigraph for Count Rainbow Dave. Twelve thousand below, eight thousand above. Two twenty knots at Lovan. Just want to make sure that's actually in the. Uh, oh, I need to check my data. Uh, we're flying to OTHH. I'll let you see this bit now. So, comically, I'm kind of reading this, the TAF. Uh, the true air forecast and the me tower over here. Uh, from 1800 Zulu, that's about an hour old. That's massively out of date, but okay. Uh, three five zero one one cabo K one zero one eight Cabo K is always nice. Nineteen three fifty eleven And the decision height is uh we we'll use Cat one Charlie two oh nine Config three 
You're watching me on two screens. It's very funny watching both days try and catch each other. Okay. Can I? Yes. Lights. Bright. 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 Let's go have a look at the lights while we're... Oh, hang on. Are we past top of the scent? We have passed top of the scent. Uh, whoops. <laughs> Let's go into the cabin and have a look at the lights. Because look at that! Look at all the lighting and pretty colours now. And I'm going to... Because this is the last flight of the day. Let's just uh, make it a nice... Evening. A bit later than that. Uh, let's make it 5.37. Local. That's still too bright. Um... 6.15, oh, there we go. <coughs> We're actually way above profile, so let's... The air breaks out. Seatbelt signs can come on. We've only actually been in the air for 20 minutes, by the way. My block time was 58, and we've been in the air for 20. So I'm going to bring my arrival over here. I could go aft and direct a lag map, but that's probably a bad idea. Um, whoops. No, put that away. Right, flight plan. And uh, I just want to double check that Muk said no Lovnan has the correct uh, Lovan. Yeah, that's got the correct um, restrictions in place, that's fine. Okay, we're on profile. Let's close the... Oh, hang on a second. Look at how pretty that is now. There we go. So, we got a nice evening and a very worst night arrival here. Transporters are armed. That's actually a bit early for that, so let's disarm them. Oh, and actually, let's show you why I don't do real time at the moment. Because real time, it's 11.01 p.m. there, and this is... GPS primary lost. Why is GPS primary lost? Because I changed the time so much. Oh my god, let's bring it back to... 6.37. Bit earlier than that. 6.22. Okay, can I get... Direct Mechma, please. Well, this isn't very good. In it. IRS in it. Come on. EJ landing? I have no idea now. Oh! We have... Navigation back, I believe. 
Yes, we do. Um, we can go normal descent. Okay, this is the plane trying to figure out where the hell we are. Okay, I think it's figured it out now. Oh yeah, announcement time. Let's see let's hear what Robo Lady has to say. Ladies and gentlemen, as we start our descent, please make sure your seats are in an upright position. Tray tables are folded, and seat belts are securely fastened. Also, make sure all carry-on items are stowed under the seat in front of you, or in the overhead <coughs> bins. Please turn off all your... I'm sorry, but I need to take a picture of this. It is too pretty. As well as parts of the Oh my god, she's still going. ...to be left in the play. Let's Ladies again. and gentlemen, as we start our descent, please make sure your seats are in an upright position, tray tables are folded, and seat belts are securely fastened. Also, make sure all carry-on items are stowed under the seat in front of you, or in the overhead bins. Please turn off all your electronic devices, until we are parked at the gate. We hope you have enjoyed the flight with us, and would like to remind you that cushions and blankets, as well as parts of the aircraft, are to be left in the plane. Thank Wha you. Who steals parts of the aircraft? <laughs> like cushions and blankets, I can get. I can get why they'd say, "Hey, maybe don't steal our stuff." <laughs> but parts of the aircraft is where she loses me a small bit. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please stop stealing the wings. <laughs> we need those. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please put the engine down. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I would like to address the, the uh, gentleman in seat 3F. Could you please put the landing gear back where it was. We need that to land. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, could you please give us the captain back? He he's he's the one who's supposed to land the plane. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, could you stop petting the co-pilot, please? <laughs> Someone pinched the coffee machine. Oh, dear. Um, I don't know what our next altitude is. Hang on. Let's go to Moxed 5000 above. Oh, that's dead. Why do the Power Rangers theme stuck in my head? Go, go, Power Rangers! Uh, 3,000. And the go around is. Uh, come straight ahead, 218. Give me turn right onto 066. To intercept the 036 radio of DOH. To one three from Doha. Turn right to intercept. Plan maintain 4000. Okay. Now we're back in GPS primary. Fantastic. Radnav, I just want to double check that we have the ILS in. 110.1 is correct. Good, good, good. Um, I 
case, let's get um one zero point one whoops one one out oh, slash slash one 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 zero decimal one yeah and it is course three three six Okay, and it's going to be one one four point four. Yep. Um, zero three six. ETA to landing about uh, five minutes rest. There's the airport. Hey, Venkatraman. Uh, I'm doing good. How are you? You're totally new around here. All right, Steve. You, you you keep saying that. What's our clean speed here? Um, what's next phase? Clean speed two fifteen again. Fantastic. So what I'll do is we're gonna hit the um, low van speed restriction. I'm gonna bring out uh, slats. Do a quick recall. No issues. Perfect. <coughs> Can't wait for the buttery. Yeah, more buttery than last time, I can guarantee you that. Dim the lights. Any birds yet? No, I haven't set up any bird strikes actually. Okay. A cabin crew lady thinks we're going to Dublin. She's going to get a very rude awakening when we're actually in Doha. The passengers pinched all the bits that fell off last landing. Possibly. <laughs> and the coffee machine, apparently. <laughs> That's a nice 30 minute flight, actually. Recommend. recommend if you um, are looking for a quick hop to do. So there's our landing runway there, it's 3-4 right. There's the airport, there's Doha itself. With all of the flashing lights in the world, good grief. Um, the windscreen's a bit dirty, so if you're, if you're seeing like little blotches like this one, um, that's actually on the plane. Don't worry, it's not... These aren't on your monitor, you're fine. Okay, here's the 220 thrust reduction. And we'll get flaps one. Speed doesn't quite check, but it's fine. Cup of OXO. I mean, each to their own. More tea, please. Okay. Tease for women, socks is for men. <laughs> it's a good warm kick. I mean, yeah.
Okay, we're pretty much set up to that. Well, barring the slat flaps and slats. And actually, the spoiler. There we go. I've had for years. Like I said, each to their own. If you like OXO, have some OXO. I don't particularly care. Okay, let's get the speed down to uh, 180. Actually, 170, please. Flaps two. Look. Should get look star in a moment. Look, star, approach mode, engage. Down to one sixty knots, please. Establish localizer. Light slopes coming in. Slightly above for now. Holding speed. <coughs> I'm coming in kind of slowly just to make sure that everything's under control. Let's see, intersect light slope, which will be in a moment. We are coming in on profile, more or less, here. So we should hit glide slope as soon as we hit, we hit 3,000. So I'm just watching this now. Still in descent mode. There's Alt Star. And Alt Star should be followed fairly swiftly by... We are above the slope, and that's not good. We have missed the glide slope. So, I'm going to fly manually. Let's get descending. Gear out, please. Come on. Three gear. Okay. This is part of the reason that I was flying or I am flying so slowly, is it allows me to deal with mistakes that get made. Whoa, okay, that was a bit extreme. Okay, glide slope is intersected.
We are at 5 DD. Let's get this down to V up, which is 146. And flaps 3, please. Enjoy the Airbuses at all trims. I don't need to worry about trimming this. Here we go. Let's see if we can get a better landing than last time. Buttery landing time. Well, I am having to crab a bit. <clears throat> I am having to crab a small bit, which isn't ideal for getting a good landing. Let's see if I can decrab. I can decrab just fine. Approaching. Three, four, right. Landing no blue, continue. Much better. Maybe you know, we'll get the reverses at sixty knots. Manual braking. off. Ooh. That's the thing when landing. Yeah, we had a bit of a float there, which wasn't ideal. Where are we on the airport? Um, we are Alpha 5. Okay, so if we... This airport doesn't match my charts. That's not good. Doesn't like to bleed speed off in this player, does it? Um, that yeah, was a nice couple of legs, Traff. Um, I'm going to be finishing up myself in a second anyway. The thing about this plane is it does like to fly. Like, it doesn't want to um, just hold station, so... That should be the cargo terminal, this should be the... Yeah, this is the main terminal over here. I've not seen this plane at night yet, so... Uh, you'll have to indulge me in outside view here. Okay, that is pretty unimpressive. Like, that does actually look like an Airbus taxiing. Oh, some of the lights don't seem to be appearing all that well. Do I have the turnoffs on? I do. Huh. 
Oh, uh, if I take Echo 4 in, I should be fine. See you, Peter. turn. Yeah, the mistake I made in the first flight, just so that we can debrief that, um, because I know exactly what I did wrong after that second flight, was I should have actually pre-flared at 30. I didn't do that, and I tried starting, starting the flare at 20. And that's why we landed at um, 500 odd feet per minute. Um, if I started the flare when I should have at 30 feet, that's a triple seven on that sand. <laughs> Very nice. Is that a triple or is it a seven eight? I want to say it's a triple. Um, guitar fly both. That doesn't help. I feel like I'm in the zone for all the heavies. But that's a 7.6, that much I, I know for sure. American mainly flies 7.8s. Okay, so that was a, a Dreamliner. Um, where's the stand that I want? I think the Qatari's on the stand that I wanted. Wah. Oh no, the stand that I actually wanted is beside the Qatari, so we're going to have a little boy in between the big boys here. Do, 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 do. We can stop the chrono now. Yeah, the stand that I want is right <laughs> is between the Qatari 76 um, and the uh, American Dreamliner. Magnificent microwave meals. Um, there are two stands there, in fact. We'll take this one here. Do, do, do. The turn offs off. And the taxi light off. Nav and logo can stay there. APU needs to come on. And we'll turn on APU bleed as well. So this should detect us in a moment, hopefully. There we go, A320. left of where we need to be a lot left of where we need to be the right where we need to be that's fine okay so if I come in on this line now we should be fine okay and brakes and parking brake. <coughs> uh, APU is available. In which case, kill the engines. And we should get, once the engines are, what the crap? I can see through the plane? I think we've stopped too far forward, so that's not going to work. Hello, Hayden. You've just missed uh, the entire stream. <laughs> we we're on stand now at uh, at our final destination for the day. GPU and chocks, please. Stop to external, get the APU off. 
And we will release the passengers. And that was a very fun stream. Autogate no work. Ah, did it. Autogate does work. That bit does. That bit doesn't. <laughs> so we had a 50% success rate. And we're actually perfectly parked. Kind of. There's the A320 mark. Well, we're a bit, bit far forward. We're about, what, three feet forward of where we should be? Um, I'm quite happy with that, though. Two very good... Oh my god, there's a big boy. <laughs> I've just seen the fat bint over there. Why? <laughs> there's a piece of junk. Or a soon-to-be piece of junk. <laughs> um, the night lighting here is really good, by the way. This is freeware, and yeah, night lighting, well, generally, generally in X plane is good, but uh, yeah, very nice here. But that is going to do it for today. I'll be back tomorrow with some farm sim, probably. I might get bored and do something else. Who knows? Um. Until then, stay safe. And goodbye. And watch Farm Sim if you want to. I, I'm not gonna, like, make you. Or not make you. Or whatever. Bye-bye.